Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with Ryan Bader who's taking on Lyoto Machida this Saturday on Fox. How's it going? Going great. You know, just uh, day before weigh-in, so uh, cutting weight pretty soon and looking forward to the fight. I'm sure you've been fired up anyway. It's a big fight. You know, you just beat Rampage. You beat another big name. It's just drawing the fans, getting you closer to a title contention. Um, but when Dana did announce, like, because the fans, like, yeah. hey, this one, this, you know, it, it, this, this is like a performance-based scenario now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a tournament almost. It's like, okay, whoever shows up, uh, it's not just records. It's yeah. not who you lost to before or whatever. It, it's performance-based. Do you like that? Does it add incentive? Of course you're going to do your best anyway. Yeah, you know, um, you kind of keep it in the back of your mind, though, because I was going in there to do my best, be the m most impressive I can anyway. But it is there, you know, and you do think about it a little bit. So, you know, it, it'd be awesome to go out there and win, you know, let alone win, but win impressively, you know. And so maybe it'll give you that little, little tiny bit of extra motivation if you didn't already have it to go in there. But I do have it, and I'm ready to go. I feel great. I had a great camp, and and it'll just make it sweeter when I go out there and win. Very good. Now, I, I took video of your open workout yesterday hitting the mitts. Um, I want to talk about that a little bit. You look really good in the boxing. Your straight right hand specifically, which is the southpaw's weakness, looks much straighter, much poppier, crisper. Um, was, was, was that just, hey, I want to get a good workout in? Or was there any psychological battle going on? Did you think, like, while Leota's off getting interviewed, I mean, we're doing interviews yeah. here, and it was getting interrupted, rap, 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 pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Was that a little psychological? You no, know, I actually didn't even, I didn't, didn't know. Well, right? oh, I didn't even know he was in there until afterwards. I saw him, and then, you know, we, you don't want to get too much away in the, uh, you know, in the open workout, so we, we just decided to go in there and hit mitts. You know, I have other people I'm working with as far as uh, a guy that emulates him perfectly. You know, I could have brought him in, in, but I didn't want to have anybody see that. You know, I didn't want to see what I'm working with, on with him and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've seen his angles and everything like that, um, you know, through that guy. And, and, you know, we just want to get in there and get a good workout, just our normal, you know, hitting mitts and boxing workout. So I didn't even know he was in there. And that's the Shotokan master you brought in? Yeah, you know, he's... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Hiroshi Allen. He came in and... Uh, How did you find this guy? I had, you know, through friends and a network of people that we know, you know, like, hey, you got to get this guy down from Vegas. You know, he uh, he's just like Machida. Um, he, he trained with Randy a little bit before that fight with Machida. And... Uh, um, good things to say, a, a guy, uh, Jay Glazer, um, one of our buddies that we know from Arizona, you know, turned me on to him also. So having him and seeing those angles and seeing those, uh, you know, he studies Michida. He doesn't do his stuff. He studies Michida and does what Michida does. So, you know, that, I saw that in the training camp. Whereas if I didn't have him, I would be surprised in the octagon, you know, seeing that kind of stuff. But I've been through it day in and day out, so I feel good. Okay. Um, you got a good frame for light heavyweight. You said yesterday you want to be back around 220. Yeah, be around 220. You know, I'm a good, in a good spot right now. It's making weight. It's uh, not going to be difficult at all. So, get get down there, hit 206, and then come back up. Okay, I've recently made a proposal, um, like the WBC, that that MMA should use a 10% weight rule, re weigh-ins, uh, the day of the fight, maybe four hours before the fight, and that you should only be able to weigh 10% more than what the weight class limit is. Yeah. So, so 205 would be 225 and yeah. a half. Would you be okay with that? Would you be? Would that be something? You yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't get that big anyway. I don't, I don't want to feel. Uh, I feel sluggish if I'm too big. I feel slow. I feel like I can't but move. But John Jones is right at the cr cross yeah. right there. He's 224, yeah. 225 by fight time, and, and I think legitimately that would set the bar where, you know, he's already got an advantage because of his reach. Yeah. Not just the knock on John Jones, but this would stop him from being able to keep adding muscle mass. To, to that frame already. I mean, there should be some limits. There's weight classes for a reason. Yeah. You know, yeah. otherwise be a heavyweight. If you're weighing at 230, 235, or 241 like a Bellator fighter at light heavyweight, yeah. why aren't you fighting the heavyweights? Yeah, but I, I come from a wrestling background, though. That's what we did. We cut down the lowest weight class. And, you know, and it does affect you, too. I mean, uh, vice versa. I can be, you know, 230 or whatever, but I had to drop all that weight to make that, you know, to make the weight class. And it, that takes a little bit out of you. So, you know, if for me, my thinking is if you can make it you know good for you and put on whatever you want you know but definitely make that way and then you know I've had guys that haven't made weight before you know like Rampage and I, and I fought on that basically at heavyweight you know yeah. um, so if you make the weight I think you're good to go however big you want to get okay speaking of your wrestling background you know just tell some of the newer fans maybe uh, where did you wrestle was it Arizona State yep I wrestled at Arizona State uh, I was a three-time Pac-10 champ a two-time All-American uh, originally from Reno Nevada two-time state champ there um, rest of my whole life pretty much in, in freestyle tournaments in California and, and around the country so it's been a big part of my life. 
Now, Arizona State at one point had uh, original UFC wrestler Dan Severn down there, also had Don Fry. Was that before your era, or were, were they there at all when you were younger? No, definitely way before my era. Um, I graduated in 2006, so they were quite a bit quite a bit older. And, uh, you know, but I have guys, like, are on our team. It was C.B. Dalloway, who's in the UFC, was 184. I was 197. Kane Velasquez, former heavyweight champ, was our heavyweight. And our assistant coach is Aaron Simpson, who's also in the UFC. So, you know, we had a, a, a good group of guys, and, and all four of us are now doing well in the UFC and, and having fun. Do you think in, in this fight with Yoto, is it, are you totally comfortable if it ends up, because, because of his angles, he's hard to get a hold of, if it ends up becoming just a straight stand-up battle, are you totally comfortable with that? Or is it like, I've got to push towards the end of each round to at least get a clinch or try to get a takedown in, in each round to help secure a possible decision? Yeah. Not, not, not that that's yeah. what you're going for. But. You know, to get a takedown would be nice, obviously, uh, at least one around. But I'm comfortable in the stand-up department. I'm comfortable with him. If I hadn't, if I'd just been training with, wrestlers and boxers and stuff like that in my training camp I wouldn't probably have been as comfortable but I've, I've seen it brought in the right guys um, you know brought in southpaws and the karate guys and I feel comfortable with, with that style now and and so that gives me confidence going in this fight so you know if he's circling out and you don't get a hold of him you know even if the commentators are saying yeah. whatever you're you're fine and 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 comfortable that it's okay it's striking fine you got strong powerful punches and yeah you'll go with it yeah and yeah i can't you know leo's a smart guy and he's very tough and i can't go in there and just try to tackle him and, and, and try to just run at him and take him down it's not gonna happen he's not gonna let me do that so i gotta mix it up i gotta mix it up with my hands and my takedowns up you know uh with my hands also so each one will take care of itself if I, he respects my hands and my kicks, takedowns are easy to get, and vice versa. If, if I could bite, give him a bait on a, uh, a feint for a takedown and come up top you know, with, with my hands, that helps it work out too. You pushed Rampage against the cage a lot in that mm -hmm. fight. You were looking for the takedown ankle pick, single leg double, but um, is, is that something that even in that fight you had planned on controlling uh, to push him against the cage to control the pummeling, which is something, you know, he's a little weekend, even though a, big, a good wrestler, he's not always pummeling like he should. Um, is that something you look at like, okay, against the cage, or is the cage work to you hoping to get the takedown? Right there? I definitely hope to get the takedown. I'm, I'm a much better takedown artist in the, in the middle of the cage, um, and, and I like explosive takedowns. Um, putting somebody up on the cage, I... I will try to work to get the takedown the whole time. Rampage is a big, strong guy, heavy, heavy legs, and he was strong. So and, just, and, and I, tight, he was tight. tight. I could, yeah, couldn't I, let you get down I couldn't, it, right? you know, I couldn't pick that far ankle. Um, I couldn't get him in a single because he's, he's, he's kept on pummeling in. And he was smart about it. You know, I'm ultimately looking for the takedown there for sure. I don't want to sit against a cage on with somebody, you know. So, and you'll see that if I don't get it after a while, I'll in every one of those, I'll, I'll never have the ref break us apart. I'll break and try to throw, but. You know, I definitely want to take people down at a point. Good. Besides, besides fighting, is there anything um, you'd like to tell the fans about your personal life, your new baby boy? Uh, like, how old is he? And yeah, just having fun with my family right now. Um, he's four months old, and uh, you know, it, it's cool to come home from training and, and see him progress and, and go from smiling to laughing. You know, and and uh, that's it's just a good point in my life right now. Uh, I'm happy playing the whole family man and uh, doing this fighting things. You know, it's two separate things, but. Um, you know, I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, and, and wrestling, actually, my daughter's over there. She, she went into wrestling on her own, which I'm very proud of. I didn't grow up as a wrestler. I ended up wrestling for fighting with my first yeah. kind of MMA coach, Dan Severn, is how I started. But, um, you know, I'm happy that she decided to do it because I think it installs a work ethic and, and it relates over to, to um, you know, to all the schoolwork yeah. and everything else. Would you hope that, not necessarily your son becomes a fighter, but you would like to see him go into wrestling? You think that's good for him? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get him into uh, you know wrestling and all the stuff. We own a gym down there in Arizona, so we're there all the time anyway. So we'll put him into all the classes, see what he likes, and if, if he like I said, I, I don't want to push him into fighting, or I don't even necessarily want him to fight at all. You know, I want him to pick his own path, but I wanted to instill that you know that that teamwork, that uh, you know that drive, you know the hard work and everything that wrestling taught me. You know, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, boxing, all that stuff could teach him too. So I'm definitely gonna have him in there. Okay. Very good. Thank you, guys. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Please go to ProMMANow.com for all your information. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Dan the Wolfman 1. Got over 500 MMA instructionals, some rare catch wrestling submissions, and um, check out TheCombatSystem.com. Thank you. Anything you want to plug or can people get uh, hold of you? Just follow me on Twitter, at Ryan Bader. You can see my sponsors and uh, everything else. So. All right. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.